So today we're exploring what it takes to have a motivated buyer. I've got a total of five little mini videos. This is the first one. And uh, for a, a buyer to be motivated, it takes a, it, there's like a theme kind of involved. So I think that a buyer has to be experienced, they have to be knowledgeable, um, and they have to have the correct training and tools to make sure that they're confident in their ability to do their job. A buyer that can't do their job or can't implement their vision is, is they're really weak, but it's not exactly their fault. So if you have a buyer that's weak on any of those things, give them the power to succeed by upping their training and their knowledge and their experience. Um, the next thing is that they need to have inspiration. Not only are they um, kind of a nerdy person because they have to follow finances and budgets and, and all these KPIs with retail metrics and retail math, but they need to stay inspired um, and how do you do that well they're going comp shopping in the community they're talking to other business owners they're going to trade shows they're looking at publications um, they're on social media scrolling through their feed um, any kind of exposure that they can get to the outside world outside of the four doors of the store means the more that they're going to be in tune with the marketplace and the more that they'll be able to make the correct decisions about where trends um, in your community are going and last little part of this video the it's it's so important for to be able to have the training and the knowledge to have the inspiration but to marry those two together with a clear vision whether it's the buyer's responsibility to come up with the vision of what the retail shop should be or if it's the vision of um, what the owner or the president or the CEO of the company wants. Um, no matter who comes up with it, it needs to be established in some fashion through pictures, paragraphs, a mood board, so that everyone's looking to achieve the same look and feel that we have in mind for the store. So that's video number one. Stay tuned for video number two and how to keep your buyers motivated.